Welcome to your Daily Double Reading. Today we will be using the Power of Surrender cards as well as the Essential Tarot to get two card combos for you to choose from for your message today. So let's get into it. I'm gonna start with the Surrender cards. So these are great, <laughs> okay? If you want, as you're intuitively choosing, you can think about what it is that's going on in your life what it is that you have maybe a question about. Uh, these cards are going to offer you up a surrender point for the day. And maybe something to think about in the future, they just said, okay. So let's get these laid out. Hmm. Okay, they are looking for specific cards and maybe they're giving you some time to think about that. This one? Okay. okay. All right. And we're going to add a tarot card to these now. group one please again you're trusting your intuition you're just asking which of these two combos is going to provide me with the insight this one yes and this one okay let me let me clean that selection up for you but like get those cards So again, which of these combos is going to provide me with the message that I need for today? That's what you wanna ask yourself. Is it combo one here or com combo number two? Once you have decided and your intuition has pointed you to the right card combo, head on down to the description, click on the timestamp next to the card combo you've chosen, and I will see you in your reading. Hello group one and welcome to your daily double reading today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen card combo one. So first we're gonna take a look at the surrender energy here. Surrender defensiveness, ooh la la. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear non-defensive response. So this is about the cycle of, help me, reaction. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> it's like, what do you call that, spirit? The cycle of reaction is what's coming up in your reading. So if there's something that's been frustrating you, or perhaps there's like a person in your life generally that have the way that they communicate, create some defensiveness. These would be like uh, people who are passive aggressive or who they're kind of like blaming you for things um, or just talking to you in a way that highlights uh, you're not your best moments, not your best features, etc. Or if someone is speaking to you and you feel yourself getting defensive about something, that's definitely a sign for you to look within yourself to ask yourself why, right? Because that won't be about that person. That'll be about you. They're asking for you to surrender over the need to feel like you have to defend yourself and instead go within yourself to ask, how is the best way for me to respond to this? Especially if you are dealing with someone who is um, poking you, right? Because that's the cycle of response they're talking about. When somebody is trying to get at you, they're looking for a response from you. And if they're coming from like a low frequency, the initial reaction, especially if you're defensive, is to lower your frequency to theirs and then respond from that place. The, the practice is to take a beat, take a moment, and be aware that that's happening so that you can stay vibrating high and respond from that space. Let's see what we have connected to it. The strength card. All right, they're telling you, you can do this, right? Um, and almost this loving energy with this card uh, depiction. Oh, this is kind of really beautiful. 
This is a beautiful depiction. She's hugging her lion and the lion is hugging her. So it's like realizing that you can love yourself into this and sometimes the love and the compassion for whatever it is that you need to look at or whatever's going on with that other person is the key to true courage, true bravery, true strength. And then to be able to most certainly stand up for yourself and I will say that to have a strength card with the defensiveness energy, this is clear clearly not about outwardly like exerting yourself and being harsh or rude, right? It's about staying high and knowing that that's where your true power lies, vibrating high and responding from there. So I hope that this serves you for the day ahead. If you enjoyed this reading and you don't want to miss any of my future readings, then you know what to do and I will see you in the next one. Hello group two and welcome to your daily double reading today. If you're listening to this, you've chosen the second card combo. We are going to start with the surrender message for you. Let's see what we have here. Surrender to effortlessness and I, I love this one. This is a great card. Stop pushing so hard. The art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river. So this is about allowing things to be easy, right? Effortlessness. And so if you've been struggling with something, if something's really been uh, frustrating you, you feel like you're hitting a wall somewhere, or you've been just like over trying, overthinking, overdoing, this card today is telling you that you don't need to do that anymore. You can actually let that go and allow it to flow instead. They want you to see where the flow is going to take you for the day. Um, so essentially, Spirit's kind of giving you the day off. It doesn't mean you can't do anything, right? Or you don't have to do anything. It just means that you're not supposed to push here. You're supposed to become aware of where you're being guided, right? Stop pushing so hard. Um, it's an art to go with the flow is what the card says, but really it's the idea of just allowing it to be easy, that you don't have to effort so hard, that the effort that you want to put into it is about opening up the channel and being aware and allowing yourself to be led. Let's see what we have here. Ah, oh, my God. And look at all the flow she's got going on. Okay, look at that. I mean, th this card is a card that connects you to your hopes and your dreams for the future, but it's also a card of clearly, as you can see, flow. It's about taking the elements that you have in your life and allowing them to be guiding you to that guiding light, right? Like being led by the true frequency of what it is that you're hoping for, your that inside dream, right? And knowing that you are already on the track to doing that if you can allow yourself to flow. Also, this is about balance in this card for sure. That's coming up because she's got, you know, the water happening in both of, of her hands here um, on either side of her body. So trusting that your dream or your hope or your faith is going to um, be able to be restored when you allow that flow to guide you is the key message here. <laughs> this is a card of, as I said, your dreams for the future. It's a long-term card. It has long-term indications, major arcana energy today, obviously for both of these pulls. But for you, this is about knowing somewhere deep inside of you that your dreams are available or that there is reason to have faith, that there is reason to hope. And if you've been putting in a ton of work and you've just been grinding and you've been hitting walls, they're telling you it's not the way to your dream. Today, the way to your dream is to lean back and enjoy the ride. Trust in the knowing and allow things to flow. I hope you enjoyed this reading today. If you did and you don't want to miss any of my future readings, you know what to do and I will see you in the next one.